How's it going, All Stars? Uh, welcome to our second class of our web series for the Blue Belt and the Red Stripe program. Now, if you guys were following along last time, you guys had Mr. Andrew, who was working on your takedowns. Now, today we're going to continue with that, but we're going to make sure when we start, we're going to start with a strong warm up. We're going to do a little bit of stretching, a little bit of kicking, and we're going to really focus on your takedowns. When you guys are practicing these, I know it's a little bit tough because right now everyone's trying to keep hands off, uh, limiting contact with another person. So we're gonna try two different ways today. We're gonna try it once with myself and then once with Mr. Andrew and myself. So before we continue, let's get started. One hand, feet together. Chin yet? Bow one, two, three. Kinye. Now, obviously, we're going to go through a really good warm-up. If you guys have a warm-up you want to do on your own, you guys are a little higher belt, you guys know your own bodies, but if you guys follow with me, I guarantee you'll be able to start the class off the best. So let's start off nice and easy. 30 jumping jacks. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Now, since you guys are a little bit older, a little more advanced, you guys are all blue belts and red stripes, today's warm up, I'm going to try to not only work out your legs and arms, but your mind. So, we're going to do a lot of different versions of jumping jacks, starting with the crisscross jumping jack. So, hands feet together. You're going to open one. Crisscross when you close, open two, crisscross the other side. So it's open cross, open cross. We're gonna go for 10 seconds. One, two, try to speed up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, if you're following along, make sure to remember that. Trust me, you're not gonna to wanna to forget. Next one, we're gonna go forward and back. So you're gonna open, legs going forward and back. Right leg in front, left foot back, close. Then opposite, left leg in front, close. One, two, going for 20 seconds now. Go back and forth, back, forth. A little faster, go, go, go. Last 10 seconds, faster, faster. Make sure you guys switch your feet every single time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, again, don't forget. Trust me, you're not going to want to forget. Next one. You guys ready? Hands feet together. You're going to do a star jump. Star jump is you're going to do a jumping jack all in the air before you land back in chignette. So you're going to open and close. Hi -ya. Just like that. You don't have to jump so high. Just up and close. Hi -ya. Let's do 10. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Now. Are you guys ready for the big one? Hands feet together. Now this one is not really a jumping jack, but you're still gonna have to remember it. You're gonna do 360 spin all the way around to your right shoulder. One, and then other side to your left, like that. Let's try again, faster. Ready, one, two. Very good. Now, I hope you guys are ready. Shake off your hands, shake off your legs. Here's gonna be the drill. You're gonna open, close, regular jumping jack. One. You're gonna do another regular jumping jack. Two. You're gonna do a crisscross, 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 crisscross. From crisscross, you're gonna go forward, back, forward, back, star jump, star jump. 360, 360. All right, now, your homework for the warm up. You guys are gonna send us your first video. It's going to be you guys doing this set perfectly. Fast, jumping nice and high. So one more practice, I'll show you. And if you want, you can pause the video and practice a little bit more. Let's retry. Jumping jack, jumping jack. One, two, crisscross, crisscross. So open criss, open cross. Two forward and back jumping jacks. Forward in, forward in. Two star jumps. One, two. And then 360 spin, 360 spin. Aya! Very good. Woo. Nice work. Shake off your hands, shake off your legs. All right. Now, like I said, we're still gonna keep your mind really focused. So this time, we're gonna start with some jogging on the spot. Nice and light. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. You see, nice and calm. Eight, nine. Now knees up a little higher. And knees up all the way to your belt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hands behind you, all the way to your backside. We're gonna do ten seconds of heels to your butt. Ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now. If you guys are a soccer fan, I know you won't be able to see it on TV for now, but you can still practice. Everyone say in, in. You guys are going to kick the inside of your foot to your hand. Obviously, when you're finished, make sure to wash your hands. You're putting your foot to your hand. Well, I want you guys to stay healthy and safe, but for now, I want you to your hands and feet. Ready? In, in. We're going to do it 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, everyone say outside. You're going to put your foot up and hit the outside of your foot. One, two, try again. One, two. Now, this is going to look a little silly. I don't want you guys doing this though. I want you guys to focus. Hey, eyes on me. Serious face. Hands are nice and strong, 10 times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, to the mental part. You're gonna go in, in, out, out, butt, butt, up, up. Mr. Andrew, did you follow along, sir? Yes, sir. Very good. Let's try that again. Yes, ready? One more practice. In, in. Out, out, back, back, up, up. This is the second part I want you to send in. Being able to do this fast, at least once. Not a 20 second, 30 second, one minute video of this. Just once. Let's do one fast for you guys. Ready? In, in, out, out, back, back, forward, forward. One more. In, in, out, up, back, back, forward, forward. Let's see. Your challenge, again, we're going to do that. 10 times. You're gonna do it 10 times in a row. And you're gonna send us a video of that. To make sure that you guys are really paying attention. Don't forget as well, in your video, you don't wear sweatpants, t-shirt. Make sure you're wearing your full uniform, or at least your Taekwondo pants, your Taekwondo belt, and an all-star t-shirt at the least. You still wanna look like you're ready for our actual class. I like the online classes, but I still gotta see you guys focused. Now, right now you guys should be nice and sweaty, just like Mr. Peter. We're gonna do a quick little stretch. Before we do, we're gonna deep breath in and deep breath out. One more. And let's do a quick stretch. Starting with your legs, you're gonna reach all the way down, put your hands to the floor, stretching out the backs of your legs. Go one, two, three, four. Sunny today, I like it. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome work. Now, hands on your hips, feet shoulder width apart. So wiggle your butt, make sure your uniform is nice and strong. This time, you're gonna reach the back of your hands down to the floor and drag your knuckles. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and up. Very nice. Now, obviously, there's not a lot on television right now. A lot of sports have been canceled. Your martial arts classes are online. So you have a lot of time to practice some of your basics. And one of the most basic things that we check in your testing is flexibility. Now we have a lot of people at All-Star that are really flexible, like Mr. Peter. But we also have people at All-Star that are, need a little practice, we should say. But that's all right. You guys have lots of time to do that. So here's another challenge for you. We have a lot of challenges. You guys are higher belts. You need a lot of motivation. 
You're gonna put your hands on your hips, and every single time I count, you're gonna take one step to either side. If you can't go any lower, you're just gonna freeze on that spot. But if you can, you're gonna try to do full splits. Ready? One, step, step. Two, step, step. Three, four, five. Now from here, you have a choice. You can either hold your hands to your hips or bring your hands to the floor. I like to bring my hands down so I can bring my toes up. We're gonna do five more, try to go full. Five, a little fuller. Four, three, two, and all the way down. One, two, three, four, and relax. Cross your legs, sitting nice and strong. Pretty good. Now, again, if you guys still have a lot of energy left, feel free to rewind the video, go back and do a little more warm up. But for now, let's get into your curriculum. So, let's do a quick little review. We're gonna work on takedowns number one, all the way to takedown number five. The first three are green belt and blue strike level. So we're gonna go over those quickly. And then for your blue belt number four and for red strike number five takedowns, I'm gonna give Mr. Andrew. So everyone, Chumbi. Don't forget, Chumbi stands means ready. If you start your takedown with your hands and feet by your side, looking like you're about to take a nap, you're not going to feel ready. Imagine there's a big, strong guy in front of you, looks angry. They're gonna aim right for your nose, right for your filtrum. You wanna make sure that you're stronger, that your body is strong, your eyes look like they're ready, and your body looks ready. So from Chumbi's stance, let's review our in and out block. So first, tap your left leg. If you guys are facing me like this, this is your left, this is your right. So facing me, and again, this is your left, this is your right. Chumbi stance. Let's start off with inside block punch. Now again, when you do your inside block punch, someone's gonna come at you with their right hand. So you're gonna step with your left leg. So, oh, yes, your right leg, my apologies. So you're gonna step with your right leg. From here, step with the right, left hand block, right hand punch, right to the chin. Reset into chumbi. Now from here, outside block punch. You're gonna step with your left. Block with your right, punch with your left. Reset, let's try one more. Inside block punch, outside block punch. Try one more, inside block punch, one, two, outside block punch, one, two, and reset. If you have someone at home that can help you, make sure they punch with their right, they step in with their right, and make sure you don't punch them in the face. They're never gonna help you again. Trust me, it's happened before. Don't be the person that punches someone in the face by accident. Now, this time, everyone say, take down number one. Let's review. For your take down number one, you're gonna go inside block punch. One. You're gonna take two hands, kind of like you're holding a hamburger, to the back of the wrist. You're gonna step all the way back. Hand up like this, and you're going to push down on their wrist with two thumbs nice and strong. When you do this, their body should be tilted all the way down and they should not be able to stand up at all. And you finish with a strong front snap kick and bring it back without hitting them in the chest. So again, one more time. If someone's helping you, make sure you do this without hitting them. So they're gonna step in, you're gonna step to the side. Block punch, grab their wrist, and elbow lock. Step back, flip. Push your thumbs in, front side, kick, aya, and bring it back. Very nice. Don't forget about that elbow lock. It'll be very important at higher levels. Let's move on to take down number two. This time, you're gonna go to the outside with your left. Left step, block punch. From here, same thing. You're gonna reach over now, like you're elbowing them in the head. You're gonna reach over, grabbing their wrist, and again, you want to put your thumbs on the back, right between the both sides of the big knuckle on their hand. You're going to reach, you're going to push their thumb to their shoulder, and you're going to step all the way back. Then you're going to twist and pull them all the way behind you. 
If you're facing this way, again, you're going to step, block, punch, elbow strike, almost over them without hitting them. Grab their wrist, push in, step all the way back, and you're going to throw them in front of the screen, right here. Boom! And then you're going to jump and break their wrist. But make sure you don't actually break their wrist. Again, martial arts is all about control. That's what discipline is. Controlling your body. Now, to number three. One of my favorites. From Chumbi stance, again, you're gonna step to the outside, but you're gonna do a low strike. So hands here, hand to your hip. Block one, punch to the ribs as you step to the outside. From here, when you do this, you're gonna take your other leg. You're gonna step in front. You're going to snake your hand underneath to the back of their head. So from this angle, you're going to step to the outside with your left, block, punch, low. You're going to grab their wrist like you're holding on for dear life. You're going to step in front and you're going to sneak your hand behind their head. When you do this, you're going to twist their arm upside down, you're going to kick your foot out, and you're going to do a flip so their head lands right between your feet. That way, when it comes time for the last part, your knee, you're going to drop right on their solar plexus in the middle of their chest. So one more time, facing you guys. You're going to go outside, block, punch low. Step in front, hands snakes underneath to the back of the head. You're going to twist their arm, twist your foot, pull it back, and you're going to sweep and flip. And then right knee, ah, to the chest, so you're going to left knee. Very good. Now, on to take down number four. For the first part, I'm gonna do it in the air. And then to help us, Mr. Andrew will come in. So from Chumbi Sands. Now this one, just like the other ones, you're gonna need a little bit of space. I don't want you guys calling All-Star and saying, I broke my lamp during our takedown session. Or I broke my couch in half. Or my nice 70 inch flat screen 4K TV just broke. We're not gonna pay for it. But, if you have enough space, that shouldn't be a problem. So from Chumpy stance, again, we're gonna to go to the outside and we're gonna punch to the head. So with your left leg, step, high punch, and block strong. From here, your right leg is gonna step behind them and you're gonna bring yourself butt to butt. When you do this, your hips should be touching. And you're gonna grab one hand to their belt, one hand to their shoulder. So again, we're facing this way, just so you guys have two different angles. Step out, block punch. Right leg goes behind, butt to butt. Right hand to belt, left hand to shoulder. You're going to bend your knee, you're gonna lift and roll. You're not just gonna sweep and slam them to the ground, and you're not just gonna roll them like a pancake. You're gonna bend your knees, lift your hip, like you're pushing them up, Throw them to the ground, nice and strong, where they're gonna land in a plank. You're gonna take your left hand to shoulder, knife hand chop to the neck. From your chamber position, right punch, reset, and then back, ha! So facing this way, a little bit faster. Punch block to the outside one. Step behind, grab belt and shoulder. Lift up your butt, lift up your hip, and lift them up. Roll them over to the floor. One. Hand to your shoulder. Knife hand chop. Punch. Reset your hand. Knife hand chop. Aya. Now, if you guys didn't get that so well, that's all right. We have our ace in the hole. Mr. Andrew will be helping us with this takedown. Now again, if you don't have anybody to help you, that is all right. However, if you do have someone to help, Make sure you guys give them a fair warning. I don't want you guys hurting your mom and dad or brothers and sisters. Mr. Andrew is a trained professional. Yes, sir. Say hello, sir. Hello. How are you doing, sir? Great, how are you? Are you ready? Yes, sir. Very good. So, Mr. Andrew, you're going to go into a strong fighting stance. Right leg back. Huh. Again, if I don't move fast enough, he steps in and punches with his right, Boom. he's going to knock me out. He has very strong arms and very large fists. So I have to step right out of the way. 
I have to go behind him. If I do this properly, by the step in, you should barely see me. So again, he steps in, I quickly step to the outside. Block punch. I grab his wrist. No, that's not takedown number three, this is takedown number four. I actually grab his belt. So I want to step behind. So I'm hiding behind him. You can barely see me. I grab his belt. I grab his shoulder. Again, I want to be really close to the back of him. Butt to butt, hip to hip. I'm going to bend low. I'm going to lift him up off his toes. And I'm going to roll him nice and slow. I don't want to slam him into the ground, right, sir? No. The exact no. So let's try that one more, and I'll add the knife hand chops. So again, maybe a little closer to the camera. This time, he's going to come this way. So you guys can really see. I step to the outside, he steps in for punch. I punch strong. Boom! I step behind, right in front of him. So you can barely see him anymore. This hand, make sure to go in front to grab the belt. The other hand grabs the shoulder closest. Now watch, I'm not just going to lift. I'm going to bend my knees to push my head under him. So I can lift him just off the ground and then roll him. Not split him, not hurt him, roll him. And when he's down, I finish with knife hand, punch, knife hand. Mr. Andrew, do you mind, sir? So I have him on the floor. I don't just sit on him. I bring my hand up to the neck. One, two, three. And that's it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I will need you in a second, but I'll give you a break to Thank you, sir. fix your uniform, grab a drink. Finally, for the red stripe belts, this one is one of the fastest. If you do it properly, it should be done. One, two, three. So again, chumbi stance. This next one is to the inside. So the last three, outside, outside, outside. Number five is to the inside again, just like number one. So from chumbi stance, if you're facing this way, it's with your right leg now. So again, facing me like this, it's this side. You're gonna step and punch to the head, fast. Step, block, punch. From here, I'm going to quickly step behind. I'm going to grab your shoulder, and I'm gonna flip him back to the floor. Then from here, I'm going to lift his arm and punch strong, aya. So watch you from this angle. Ready? Right foot, step. Left hand block, right hand punch. From here, I step behind, nice and smooth. I grab his shoulder, cross his body, like I'm trying to grab him, and I pull his arm and his body to the floor. Then at the end, I lift up his hand, like I'm helping him, and I give him one extra punch to the face, just for safe. So, if you guys are ready, and if you have a helper with you, Mr. Andrew, sir, is going to help us again. Now, make sure to thank Mr. Andrew in the comments of the video, because, again, this is not easy. It's very hard getting taken down by anybody. So, hello again, sir. So, from this angle, we'll start. I'm going to be ready in chumbi sense. Whenever he punches, I have the key up. I go, aya! I block with the left, punch to the face with the right. See, I made him a little nervous. My leg quickly was behind him. My arm goes to shoulder. If you're smaller, you can also go to the filter of right where his mustache is. But for now, I'm going to go across the shoulder. From here, it should be almost like lightning. I lift him up and I push him down. Now again, I have my hand right on his wrist. So I'm going to pretend to help him. I lift him up. Bang! Ah! I finish him off with a strong right hand punch. And now he's helping me, I bring him back. Now from that side, sir, let's go a little faster. Let's see if you guys can keep up. Are you ready, sir? Sir. So again, make sure to key up nice and loud. You want to scare them a little bit before you take them down. Damn! Oh, if you make a mistake, that's okay. Make sure you still don't get punched. You want to step to the side, make sure you don't get hit. Let's try one more, sir. Ready? Hey! Block, punch. Step behind, grab the shoulder. Flip. I lift. And I finish him off. Great work, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, very nice. Now, everyone facing Mr. Andrew and I. Can you Can you hit? You guys did an awesome job. So, again, thank you, sir. You did an awesome job today. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the class. I hope you guys did a really good job. Again, I give you guys a couple challenges in this class. I gave you two workout challenges to see how strong your body and your mind are. I gave you one flexibility challenge. And obviously, I gave you your red tip challenge, your takedown. 
Now again, even if you don't have someone to help you, if you follow along, Taekwondo is all about repetition. So as long as you follow the moves, and as long as you keep practicing, you'll be very good at your takedowns. We want you guys to send us those videos, make sure to tag all Star Martial Arts, make sure to tell us what is what, what part of your curriculum you're practicing, whether it be the flexibility part, the exercise at the beginning, or the takedown for red tip. And we're gonna get back to you guys as soon as possible. Awesome job. You guys, I know you're working hard. And we'll see you guys very soon. Chien! And feet together. Kine. And this has been Mr. Peter. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night. Bye, everybody.